Hi guys, so over spring break I went to San Francisco with my family and I thought I was gonna get a ghost hunting YouTube video because um, the place I was staying at was haunted. It was actually like a house, it was my mom's aunt's house. So I was kind of expecting to ghost hunt there and to get a video, but it ends up that that wasn't haunted. <laughs> so that's great. I brought like all my equipment. It like took up so much of like my packing space and I ended up not even filming there with the equipment, so that's great. Um, but I ended up going to two haunted hotels, which I guess the one isn't known for being haunted. I guess like no one has really seen a ghost there except for my mom. So what was, what happened here? It's a video it used to be a brothel. The stock pops would be moved across the kitchen. Somebody actually saw an apparition of a woman in pearls late one night. That's crazy. Um, the second one, it's kind of like I read online about it and I guess that a lot of people have experienced stuff there. So um, we went there. So my mom worked here too, and she says this place is haunted I as well. <laughs> so we went to this hotel and everyone was super nice. It was super normal. Um, we went up the elevator and one kind of weird thing happened. It's that it skips floors and it like goes so fast. Like, I just don't know how an elevator could be that fast, but I don't really think that's paranormal. I think that's just like good technology. <laughs> oh God. Let's see how fast this goes. Oh, oh, here oh. we go. Oh, oh my god, my are you god. kidding me? Oh my what? god. That drops so fast. And now it skips 13 and went right to 12. That's gonna give me a panic attack. <gasps> oh my god. Guess we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Stay calm. I'm feeling pretty good. So after me and my sister saw that the top floor was closed. Let's get this party started. Do, do the starlight room. As I told you before, it doesn't work. Update. Open. The starlight room is no more. They burnt it to the floor. No, they actually didn't, but we have no idea how to get there. We went to the bar and we're talking to my mom and Josh. No, but the starlight room isn't open. It's a minor anxiety attack. Why isn't it? Does it open later? The lines that some of the cooks in the kitchen said when they were here in the morning, they were the earliest ones here. Yeah. The um, one guy said there was an apparition of a chef down in the kitchen. It was a chef Uh huh. Chef's hat. Yeah. I don't remember how this chef died in the kitchen. He didn't have a head. He didn't have a head? He didn't have a head. Oh. What happened in the starlight room? Yeah. Do you know anything about that? I don't, but there's people uh, that worked up at the Starlight and would see things all the time. Really? Yeah, this is a really old hotel. And um, we asked the bartender if people have experienced stuff at the hotel, like if it was haunted, and he knew all about it. Do you have any ghost stories from here, sir? Here? Yeah. No, nothing it's in it. It's very haunted, right? It is. It's an old uh, hotel. So, what I heard, I heard it's really solid, but the original owner that built this place back in 1908, 1928, committed suicide by jumping off the wall. Um, that was in the oh. Market's Grass back in the day. And I, I had various managers. We have a nightclub up top, and the manager would stay late and up here thing when nobody should be right there. Yeah. So the Sir Francis Drake Hotel has been very successful since the day it opened. I guess even during the stock market crash, it almost became even more popular during that time because all the stars started going and staying there. So during World War II, the hotel booked like all of its rooms to the US military and they would hold reunions and goodbyes to their families at this hotel. So in 1965, things kind of took a turn. They experienced their first death at the hotel and it was Paul Lind. <laughs> would you welcome Mr. Paul Lind? I 
How are you? Fine, but, you know, Peter gives uh, paper clips for nervous guests on Hollywood yeah. Squares. What do you give for uh, nervous people? Well, why would you get nervous, really? Now, I've asked you to do this show before, and I know you're busy. And well, uh, we, we kept coming to you, and I said, hey, come on, Paul, drop on the show some night. You know, just come I mean, and no, say and hello. I watched the show, and I think you're the greatest. He allegedly fell off of the eighth-story window after drinking with... James Bing Davidson, which was 24 years old at the time. Um, they had been drinking, partying, and I guess he just like fell. I wonder if it was like an accident, if he like just like tripped, or if Davidson pushed him. Like this isn't a conspiracy theory video, but whatever. So during the hotel's 50th anniversary, it underwent a huge renovation so the hotel is like so nice now probably because of this renovation um it added like marble floors what the hotel is very proud of is their starlight room so the starlight room is the floor that people think is haunted because they have experienced things there and for the past seven decades has remained part of the san francisco nightlife and the club offers 180 degree city and bay views and they host a drag show brunch on sundays that sounds so fun and one thing that i found really cool and interesting is during um the prohibition era they had a prohibition room and this is where they had liquor and they would give it to the residents but they would have like holes, like teeny peepholes that you could still find in the floor, which they would look through to make sure the police weren't coming and they didn't find them. So if you want to find the peepholes, they're located in the lobby. And just look at the ceiling and I guess you can find them. So let's just get to the ghost stuff. So other than Paul Lind that fell and I guess that people still think that he haunts the place, the guests report like a lot of weird stuff happening all the time. That includes mysterious open windows, moving curtains, eerie voices, and strange shadows. If you look online, there's just like all the sightings are like in reviews. So I guess the like the people that work there see a lot of stuff. But um, it's more like the people that stay there, they post about it online, like their experiences. Like there's this one girl that I'm looking at right now that's on Yahoo, and she recorded like her week um, of sleeping there and staying at the hotel. And I guess like so much went down. So a lot of reports have come from the 10th floor. And what's super weird and cool about this floor is that if you look at the ceilings, you can see um, bullet holes and the chandelier has bullet holes in it and that was from this couple. The guy um, met his wife at the hotel hoping that they get back together. I guess they're getting a divorce. And when she actually showed up with divorce papers, he shot her then shot himself, which is super tragic. And it's also kind of cool that you can still see the bullet holes in the wall. I guess there was this girl in the shower. That sounds kind of weird to start off like saying that, but, um, this girl's in the shower and I guess that she felt someone pull her hair back and she fell flat in the shower and I guess she like probably hurt herself and she asked to change rooms because she was so freaked out. So that's all I have, but um, I was thinking of actually uploading a video on the Golden Gate Bridge hauntings because um, so many people have died there and people think it's haunted. So if you guys are interested in that, comment below and also give this video a thumbs up um, thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I didn't get, like, a lot of, like, or actually any of me actually ghost hunting. But the next one, I promise, I'll be ghost hunting. Except if it's the Golden Gate Bridge video, I won't be ghost hunting. So, maybe if you aren't into that, don't comment below. So, cool. Bye, guys.